Um, another important facet for the stables is obviously the music. Uh, it's always a key feature of the Christmas shows that we select for the stables is that, that music is integral to the, to the piece rather than incidental. So maybe Mark could perhaps uh, take us through some of the, the concepts behind putting the music together and, and what type of music we, we are to expect. Right. Um, well, Russell first asked me three or four years ago to write music for The Last Resort. Um, and prior to that, I'd been an opera singer. That's what I am by, by trade. And um, I had to think about it to start with, but I, I very quickly realised that tunes were coming, and so we, I, I did The Last Resort, and uh, found that I enjoyed it fantastically well. Um, when, I, when we decided to do Christmas Carol, uh, I made a decision that because the whole piece is about time shift, uh, that I would try and base things around time, which is what this instrument, which I created for the show, is about. These are three gongs from clocks, Victorian clocks. I'll show you that first, actually. Um, so I, I bolted those to a, a box. There's an acoustic pickup inside, and when you hit them, they just sound like clocks. And I chose three gongs out of all the gongs I'd bought off eBay <laughs> that, that sounded... Days just spent. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm afraid so. And then, you know, with this beater, you can hit them with the leather, or to make it sound like a smaller clock, you can just go... I then quickly discovered that we needed a soundscape for the appearance of the ghost of Marley. I discovered that if you put the whole thing through a delay pedal, which I've got down here on the floor, and you bow the gongs, There are moments in the scene where Marley shouts at Scrooge, so I, I put this string on to recreate voices shouting behind him. So you... setting up production. So the, the pattern's pending. I'll just play you a few tunes from the show. The opening song is played on an electric piano, which I have with today, but that's all played on harp's chord and it introduces, sets up the whole story really. It starts out by the chorus saying that Marley was dead and, uh, and then Scrooge appears halfway through the song and it's all about how, how they see Scrooge. But this I'll play you the, the tune where Scrooge first appears in his counting house.
ticking of the clock in the office takes over from that, and then the scene carries on. <clears throat> um, the, a, a theme that goes through the show, actually, is the, the theme for the Cratchits. And uh, it's a very simple theme, but it's a very, it, it's a very uplifting theme. This is when the Cratchits first appear, um, their daughter, Martha, is preparing the, the kitchen and they're getting the turkey ready. Uh, so there's a lot of action going on. And then when uh, Bob comes in, they say a prayer. So I'll just play a little bit of that. <laughs> As I said, it's quite a simple theme, but it, it goes throughout the show. Um, there's, a, there's a scene where the lowlifes, as we call them, are seen by Scrooge to be selling his clothes, although he doesn't know it at the time. And they do a, a, a tango in the middle of the song. Which got that. And this, is, yeah, this is their song called uh, You Can't Take It With You. <laughs> stage and the only musician means that firstly you have to uh, make it sound like you're more than one person a lot of the time and I do try and beef out what I do by playing for instance I'll play chords on that hand and I'll play uh, harpsichord on that hand or organ or something like that which looks impressive but it's actually no more difficult than playing the accordion like so um, and also playing different instruments gives that impression I play this obviously I play the recorder. Um, there's a there's a bit uh, where Tiny Tim has uh, departed, and Martha and uh, Mrs. Cratchit uh, sing "Lule Lula," the Coventry Carol. So I play the recorder underneath that, uh, which I think is a very touching moment. And Johnny comes on into the very moving speech. That's Bob. Tears behind the glass. 